something to show y'all. I'm getting pretty decent at this thing, uh, this cooking thing. Might have to open up my own damn restaurant. <laughs> now somebody please with a straight face. Tell me you wouldn't eat that every single damn day. For those of you who don't get out much, welcome to the great outdoors. New scenery today. Two things that I'm going to say first. You just saw my meal, what I was eating. Um, my opinion, anybody in the world can eat that. Absolutely anybody. It depends on your calories and depends on some other things, but anybody in the world can eat that. I'm tired of people saying that I can only eat that because I have a lot of calories to use. I do not have a lot of calories to use. Um, basically, the amount of calories that I have in a day, which is going to seem like a lot to some of you, is about 2,200 calories. That's how, that's how many calories right now I can consume. And then another thing, if you're trying to curve your hunger or uh, your appetite, Something that keeps you full, carbonated drinks with no calories. So you don't want liquid calories, soda, uh, certain things with sugar like Gatorade. These, if you don't like sparkling seltzer water, learn to like sparkling seltzer water. Um, these do curb your appetite. <coughs> Excuse me, wow, I'm not gonna put that in. These do curb your appetite and they have absolutely zero calories whatsoever. It's just the carbonation that fills you up. That's why I like those monsters just the carbonation and it makes you it, it, it's easy to sip on and keep you full for a while so i actually did something that uh, there's going to be a lot of cuts in this video as well because it's pretty windy out but i actually did something that again is more of a feminine thing to do I'm not trying to be sexist again but that's just what society thinks of it i actually got a journal to write my notes in so when I'm trying to think of a topic to talk to you guys about my mind is running a million miles a minute and so I decided that whatever comes to mind I'm gonna jot down and it's actually funny how my notes turned out it's the biggest load of gibberish just scribbling thoughts everywhere thing I have seen in my life so certain things I would think about, I would write down, and then one thing would lead to another, lead to another, lead to another, lead to another, and that's how I got this piece of paper. But what I'm going to be talking about today is obviously fitness, because, well actually not obviously fitness, because sometimes I don't talk about fitness. It usually has somewhat something to do with fitness. But I'm going to, I want to relate my videos to myself. I'm in college, I go to community college, you know, people are in universities. I don't understand as well as someone that's actually in a university how I would go day to day on a university, but I'm just gonna give an overall, son of a gun. So, um, for some people, they might, basically you can be in college. I started when I was in high school actually. I'll give you the rundown. I know I think I have before, but when I was about 17 years old, um, I, was, I played baseball, basketball and that's it I, I tried to be a three sport athlete for two years I did not accomplish that and I was gaining weight so I started running and I got into fitness with running and what that did was that led me to I knew someone in my class that had lost a lot of weight I asked him what he did he said he did the P90X so if you guys don't know what that is it's basically a, a DVD program that you can buy like insanity it's made by Beachbody so those are all uh, common names that you should be uh, familiar with so I bought that and I started doing that and I actually lost 30 pounds within the first like three months that I was doing it or something. Granted, a lot of that was water weight um, and then obviously I'd just been eating like crap. I would play video games, I'd eat Twizzlers and Lay's chips, I'd a whole entire can, a whole entire package like every single two days. So I cleaned up my diet a little bit and then obviously I lost like 10 pounds worth of water weight. So I lost a substantial amount of weight within the first couple of months. And what that did, that that's what that's what that's when it clicked that's when I realized that I like this I want to look into this more and I want to start doing this more so that transpired basically into me going into the gym and kind of dicking around and figuring out what I wanted to do and how I was gonna see the best results for myself I had no idea about the fitness industry I had no idea people made YouTube videos I had no idea that um, there were train there were personal trainers online coaches I had never heard about that so that was when I was about 18 years old <clears throat> and then I started watching videos and getting more into it and I started seeing other people's results and that motivated me and a big question I get is how do I stay motivated that is how um, that's how I started once you get motivated it's very hard to become unmotivated unless you just completely drop it and when you completely drop it if you have any sort of 
self con if you have any sort of conscience your mind's gonna be like you were feeling better when you were doing this why are you doing this right now so you're gonna feel like shit honestly but what I'm trying to explain is from my um, my come up into fitness basically the whole gist of what I'm trying to get across is you don't have to start from where I am right now you hear it all the time but I'm kind of uh, putting it in perspective for you guys um, into my story don't compare your chapter one with someone else's chapter three I say I'm on chapter three so I mean the way I look at it is I have to explain my chapter one to catch you guys up to my chapter three if that makes any sense what I had wrote in my notes was um, basically people that don't know how to start if you are someone that you're not sure what to do um, it doesn't matter how old you are either uh, you can be 40 years old you can be 18 you can be 21 you can be it doesn't matter what I am trying to show you guys is a fit and healthy lifestyle I don't want to be like the other YouTube channels and everything that just promote one certain style of fitness and that's it that's all there is they only know push pull legs they only know to go into the gym and pick things up and put things down that is my preference of course but that is not the only thing that you can get started with that's what people get so so twisted they they think that they have to start with just strength training and that they're, they're gonna get addicted and they need to be able to take supplements and put on size and whatever yes some people might just get hooked straight off that but think about it sit right now think about it. you are one in what like four billion people in the world what makes you think that the way that you think is gonna be exact it's gonna be the exact same as what I think or what someone else thinks chances are that's not gonna happen so there are so many different areas of fitness that you guys can get started with health is such a broad broad term there is so much to health I mean you took health class in gym and that kind of gave you a basic understanding of health health is just being healthy like you care about yourself you care about your well-being you love yourself enough to understand that your body is the most important aspect of your life that's gonna get you from point A to point B no matter what your mind is gonna get you from point A to point B if you want this job you need a healthy mind if you uh, having a healthy body people are gonna look at you more and they're gonna understand that okay this person cares about themselves they care about putting their time into themselves so they can care about something else so that that's what I am preaching that's what I'm trying to get across I'm not trying to get across that I go into the gym and I pick things up and put things down I'm gonna record that because that's what I do and if you like that you can join on it but I'm also going to try to teach educate inspire whatever you want to say about other areas of fitness so try a different program I mean obviously those those um, commercials with the stupid ads about insanity and <coughs> excuse me p90x obviously you're gonna look at it and be like wow that's really stupid try it out if you have the money laid around you really want to get into something you don't like the whole aspect of going into the gym picking things up putting them down try that out buy one of those programs go for a damn run go for a power walk get a sweat going it's amazing that people will say that they hate exercise but they've never built up a sweat they've never felt a runner's high they've never actually had their endorphins firing from working out what I related to endorphins that that's what makes you feel happy and feel good feel complete you literally feel complete when you're laying in the Sun you have that vitamin D and you feel good the weather is nice the winds blowing you're in a great fucking camera cut up you're in a great state of mind and you just feel awesome you got the same feeling endorphins are the same thing for no matter what if you go on a run and afterwards you're like wow you you're going your first run of your life you go on your first speed walk of your life you do your first cardio you ride your bike for the first time in your life and you go in the mirror you're like oh damn I look good those are your endorphins firing that is you being confident that is you starting your chapter that if you if you take those punches and you roll with them and you keep building off of that that is what's gonna build you into the best version of yourself which is what I'm trying to help you guys accomplish um, a big thing that started me with it was sports uh, I mean obviously some people hate it but during basketball I'm huffing and puffing and basketball is my hands down my favorite sport I love basketball I wish I could play it still I just haven't had the time with of course that's a problem with everything um, there's not enough time in the day if I didn't have to sleep I'd be able to do everything that I wanted to but sports start it with sports if you're someone that Lily what are you doing 
if you're someone that loves to loves to run up and down the basketball court, get a sweat going, you love to work hard, you love putting in that hard work, I guarantee you, you will not mind running. You will not mind seeing changes in your physical appearance. And that will relay over to having hard work pay off, which is all that sports is about. Uh, something that, that that's really what got me started with sports hard work pays off seeing my jump shot over time progress get better to where I could finally play a game on uh, a pickup game of fives dish me a rock I'm hitting that shit every single time that confidence builds up that's what's going to happen when you start working on yourself anywho I, I just lost my train of thought Lily's playing with a bug so obviously my potato brain couldn't handle both talking and watching my dog play I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you can take something away from this. If I can help one person to take away and just give them some sort of thought, then I've done my part. So I will see you guys in the next video. As always, thank you very much.